Hi and welcome to another Wednesday with Vilna. Um, it just so happens that I'm going to be posting a new video every Wednesday. Um, so I'm extending my Valentine or workshop uh, Heart Layers, which is not really Valentine. It's more love, but it comes in time for Valentine. And I made four extra layouts for uh, my blog and YouTube channel, and this is the second one of the four. The first one you can see um, just a previous video on my channel. Um, so I'm starting off by cutting out, you can see I used my tiny attacher and I stapled that little frame to Tia's photograph. Uh, I'm backing it up with the doily and I'm using this banner by Crate Paper um, Love. It's chipboard and I'm going to position it. So this is going to be a very symmetrical layout. I'm also using a piece of um, gold dot vellum that just I, was in my stash. So I'm going to add the photograph the Very simple layering here. Um, and then I felt like it needs something, you know. So um, I will be I will be exploring um, working with a big cut file, which is a little bit of work, um, even if you do it with your silhouette. And uh, and I designed one, and I'll show it to you in a second. But anyway, so I'm using pop dots just to bring the frame off of the paper a tiny bit. Plus, I don't want it to go in behind the chipboard, love. I just wanted it to be in front. So this is a beautiful collection by Crate Paper called Heart Day. And I absolutely love it. And I, it works wonderful with those little owls that I designed for, for my new Valentine or Love collection. So there are six little frames um, in the collection. And uh, I, and they are square, and then there's six round frames too. So I'm just adding that little heart there, and then I'm going to uh, layer it with a gold heart. So that's it. And then I'm going to uh, be cutting out the the background texture. So uh, the, it's a big file um, that I created meaning big, meaning uh, it fits 12 by 12. And here you can see I'm done with the, with the cut and I'm just taking it off the paper. And uh, this was a little tricky for me. I'm just forwarding it really quick because I did some spray adhesive. You can see it there on the right hand side of the uh, video. I used some spray adhesive because my mat is not as sticky anymore. And after this, uh, I took this one off. I actually just chucked the mat because they have a lifetime, right? So here you can see I'm going to layer this doily layers on the on the cutout layers. And this is one of my favorite pages. I just love this white on white on white and the texture and everything. So it's a little sticky still from this adhesive spray. And now I'm just going to um, finish it off. So I'm adding my favorite washi there. And that's more just to stick it all to the, to the paper. And then I'm just going to add hot glue around the circle. And this way the hot glue will not only add the layer that I'm putting the glue on, but also the layer beneath it, the heart, to the paper. So when you cut this large file with your silhouette, uh, I did a double cut. Um, just be patient. It can have, it can take a little bit of time, but it's so worth it. You can see how pretty that looks. And you know what? I just decided that I'm not going to overwork it. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm just going to leave it be adding a little bit more washi on either side just to strengthen that symmetrical look and now I'm just going to cut it smaller and mount it on a background page and there you go literally 10 minutes um, 
okay we take away the cutting part of the background file but such a lovely simple page for you to make for someone that you love so I'm just cutting off a quarter of an inch on uh, all four sides here so my goal in scrapbooking more and more is to make simple pages that is easy to make quickly to make that is really pretty and I hope that this one uh, fits that category for you. It certainly was very simple to make. I, like I said, I loved the, the white on white and it was a little bit of a challenge for me to work without any mixed media, any paint splatters, no paint, uh, no watercolors, no gelatos. So that was a little challenge for me, but I enjoyed uh, going back, you know, just to paper scrapbooking, layering, and uh, keeping it sweet and simple. So I love this polka dot paper by Maggie Holmes, and I'm just going to mount my page on it. Very subtle, very sweet uh, page. And then, you know, um, I hope you have a look at my Heart Layers workshop that's on sale right now, as well as the collection that I created for Valentine with the Little Owls. It's included if you buy the Heart Layer Workshop. And here you can see the final page with a little bit of journaling added. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.